Yeti, Yadi Anya, oh. sporting his cosplay of Toon Link. So good. It's kind of a shame he doesn't use the the one with the darker hair to match it, but mm -hmm. that's fine. Uh, he's got to match the sleeves. It's mm -hmm. more important. That's true. That's true. All right. So we're going to get into it. A lot of projectiles and probably a lot of at least rest attempts, if not just yep. flat-out rests. Yeah, so the range for Corrin was, was such a big issue for 304 in their last match on screen. But uh, he can pound in a little more effectively on Kuhn Lake. Oh, oh, there it is. There That's it the is. first stock. 20 seconds in. Yeti needs a rest. Honestly, Yeti seemed to have trouble with that whole exchange. 304 just was doing work with pound. I think Toon Link's floaty nature. And really there helps. goes Toon wow. Link. Yeah. That yeah, 304 is going to have to be really careful on that platform. That taxi platform for sure. And just in general, he likes to poke the shield, which is mostly great. But if you're going to eat a forward smash, it's just not worth it. Yeah, and he can't like air dodge into the ground to avoid the first six and the second it'll just get him. I think I'd like to see 304 use more Nair in his edge guarding. Oh, yeah. If that lasts a little bit longer, I think that might save him, because sometimes he's just barely off. And the hitbox isn't all that different. Ooh, the throw armor and the throw actually sending Dane really far away somehow. Ooh. Oh, wow. That was a great shadow sneak, but it's just Oh, he it loses in. his stock. Oh, wow. Perfectly even game. You know, I, I feel like that trade actually worked out for Water Balloon. Yeah. Two team kills right there, but exciting for sure. And now we just let's have go. the same. Uh, you saw Spook Fair go for that jab reset with the arrow again. Oh, yep. It's not the easiest to pull off, especially in a uh, 2v2 situation. <gasps> oh, Dane's back. But, but uh, Van is not. not. I wow. don't know what, what happened there. Down there. And a rest. And, wow. Ooh, and there goes Jigglypuff. Van's got three stocks to take really quickly. Uh, that happened all so fast. Mm, that... I don't know if that was an SD or just... And here's the jab yep. resets. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. Look at this. I thought he was going to go for the up air, which would have killed, but these boys are trying to style right now. Yep, that shadow sneak is, is going to make the, the, for, the forward smash a lot it. harder to land, but it's not enough. It's true. <laughs> that was... Yeah. Cool. yeah. Things went really south really fast for it. That is... Uh, the SD and then a forward smash, and it was just... Really? That was, uh, what, a 70% setup? Yeah. So I think he was I, did, about, I mean, it was... I think it, he was at about 30 when it started and I honestly think it after could the, be a zero to death as yeah. long as they don't mess up. Oh, yeah, up. for sure. And if Yachty hadn't gone for the down air and went for the mm -hmm. up air instead there, right. definitely would have killed Van. Yeah, he's so. just a little too high to get it, I think. Fortunately, 304 and Van are always having fun. Yep. So even though that went really poorly, I'm sure Jigglypuff's just happy with the rest. Yep. And, It'll all be a good time. Honestly, it was a very close game until the SD forward smash happened mm -hmm. back to back. Absolutely. The deliberation is real. Lots of lots of considerations to make. The Mega Palutena's Temple. Okay. I know that Yachty really likes FD in general. Dane typically likes Omega Pirate Ship. Yeah. But Water Balloon does seem to do really well when there are no platforms. I think they just understand the setup so much better when they don't have to account for possible teching situations or right. the like. All right, Omega Palutena's ten. Oh, and there's the rest. first that's rest. Not kill. And it only gets a throw out of it. Oh, but throw to up air to up air. That's uh, the flower though from rest does continue to tack on damage, making it uh, semi worthwhile. Oh, for sure, it does at least forty-two percent. 
Um, the scary thing is Jigglypuffs have like kill percent. Smart by 304 to use the invincibility on Jigglypuff's dash attack to go through that last hit of Shuriken and drag on some extra damage on the Toon Links. Trample. But. Oh, wow. I, I think Van was dead anyway, but that bomb made it look really fancy. The green team with the two sock lead already. Yep. And Yachty's first dock is looking looking strong. That's rest percent, though. Ooh. No doubt. Nice back air from 304. Yeah. Oh, and you know 304 is looking for it. Oh, he wanted it off that throw. Oh, and I he thought he was it off that mid attack. I think he was afraid he hit Van, and they're already far yep. behind. But green team looking looking really solid. Yep. Yeti's still hanging on to that stock. Yeah, this is a great stage for Team Link. And Yeti's starting to learn because we saw at the beginning of the first match that three or four tech Yeti stock in like twenty seconds. Yeti's learning the spacing of pound and of forward air, and he's not falling for it anymore, which is scary for Jigglypuff. Oh, that's good up air from Yeti. Always ready yep. with those up air follow ups. It does so much damage. All right. And there goes Yeti's first stock. Wow, three, three, three or four waking up just in time. Yeah. And surviving. And the DI, three or four's DI is impeccable. His Jigglypuff is almost always living to over 100%, assuming it's not like a random two link board smash. Or, uh, you know, getting punished off a rest. Right. But green team with a two stock lead right now. It's They're looking really strong. Oh, good, good bomb save from Yeti on Van. He's always on top of those. It's really smart. But double edge guard situation. Neither player rolls. You know, 304 was looking for the roll. Okay, Still gets it one. though, and he had the bomb to wake him up just yeah, in case. That's brilliant. So only down one stock. Red team is, but Yeti very much a rest percent. Probably a tipper up smash percent from Greninja. Maybe not without rage. So we'll see if red team can or red team do anything to bring it back, or if green team can just keep evading them and throwing things. Team just charging that up smash. Okay, this is a good situation for. There green goes Yeti stock. Honestly, it could be a two v one really quickly. Yep. Dane is at both rest percents and at tip up smash percents. Yeah, now with the rage I can building up, that'll probably do it. But I think it's, again, green team's got so much stage control. They're keeping red team off and separated half yep. the time. It's oh, going to be difficult. Oh, the substitute coming in to save But Van. 304, okay. I didn't see what happened. Took Dane's stock. Now it's a 2v1. Yeah, I was watching Van try to recover there. Mm -hmm. I didn't see what happened. Now we get to see what, what Bloodbag is made of. Ooh, that's fine. Still living. Somehow. A risky rest. But, I mean, at this point, a rage rest is going to be very close to killing. So... Yeah, maybe if Van gets a grab and a pummel. Bloodbag definitely not as smooth on their team combos as. Oh, did, did yeah, uh, he low profiled just, yep, it? The, the landing act animation of Jigglypuff is, I think, one of the lowest things in the game. <laughs> Aside from Jigglypuff's, Jigglypuff's down <laughs> <laughs> Uh The reason we laugh is because we have seen 304 oh, land. That's, that's a 304 tactic. Down taunt to rest. Copyright. 2016. <laughs> okay, all right. And I yeah, mean, he's gonna have to be extremely one, careful in the air, though. One confirm from either character is gonna do it. That bomb exploded at such a time. I actually thought it hit Jigglypuff, but no, it was just uh, cooked for a little long. A forward air will kill Jigglypuff right now. An up smash, a forward smash, yep. and there it is. That pound just a little bit too laggy. Mm-hmm. But water balloon. Slash Blood Black showing signs of life in that one. They're definitely on the right idea getting rid of the platforms. You can see Van and Theo eating candy and considering where they want to try to take this next. I wouldn't be surprised if they go back to FD. It seemed to be alright for them. If 304 can land a few more of those rest confirms that he has down so hard, yeah. this is doable. Definitely. But it's so hard, especially with all of the projectiles that Yeti and Dane are so proficient at throwing out. And right back into it. 
For those of you curious, the singles have also started. Yep. So feel free to pull up your Chalange brackets and follow your favorite players. But we're getting into this match. Should see a lot of the same. Red team's going to be looking for a lot of those rest confirms early. And green team's just going to do what they do. Projectiles and... Oh, there's one. Not, quite. Not killed, though. Yeah, 304 has had a lot of rest today that, that just seemed like they're right on the edge. But red team for the first time with an early percent lead. Normally that's they're behind and are like making comebacks. So we'll see if they can keep it. Oh, that was a bold rest from 304. But he only gets a boomerang yeah. for it, so it's hardly a punish really. The bold flavors. And ban. Blood bag. Low percent and still Putting uh -oh. in work. Puff spot for you. Oh. Jigglypuff's aerial mobility is so good. I shouldn't I be thought, worried. I thought 304 was going to dash attack him there, and that would have been a rough Edgard situation. And actually... Oh, Van had that foot school set up, but just missed the last part. Forward arrow take Jigglypuff's dock, but both Toon Links very much at death percent. Mm -hmm. Jigglypuff dash attack. Greninja up throw. Greninja up throw. Greninja up air, Greninja forward air. Oh, but the rage. Not Still quite. living. And Van and catches so him with the back air, catches Dane. Mm -hmm. okay. Alright, and Greninja eats two kill back. moves from both yeah. of the green team there. Alright, so Yeti's still holding on to his stock. Very dangerous percents, but giving green team a lead. Let's see uh, what Yeti can do with this uh, last leg of his stock. Ooh. Fan uses the up throw thinking he had grabbed Yeti. Trying to get that kill. Ah, uh, yeah. Weirdly enough, I think that Shadow Seek could have hit either of them, but because it went to the right, it just tacked on damage on Dane instead of killing Yeti. Nice falling pair from Van takes Yeti's first stock, though. Even I stocks. I think it's going to be crucial for 304 to hold on to this stock. Yep. If he can do something with this stock, maybe have one of the red team lose the stock first. Bane. I'll put green team in a great Bane situation. Is around uh, rest percent. It's true. Oh, very much so. But Yeti's still looking real healthy. Yep. Ooh, and Three there it is. Yeah, wow. Red team's got the lead. You see 304 just throwing out those little poking aerial hitboxes. I feel like 304's so been caught off guard more than once by <laughs> players coming down from the angel platform still with their invincibility yes, and definitely. eating like an up air. But even even game, oh, even sense. Another with dress. But didn't need anything more than a normal Toon Link combo. And now Yeti's oh, lost the stock. Great challenge on that. So, I mean, both red are getting very close to kill percents, but I think they've that's got a stock the, lead. So. I think that's one of the tough things about recovering against Jiggly Puff on the sides is that uh, Bear and Bear will trade mm -hmm. just so so nicely with anything that you're using to protect yourself. And Red Team's really going to be looking to take Dane's stock here. If they can do that, they've got Yeti in a 2v1 and they can take it. Ooh, and yeah, that was so much damage from that up smash. But 304's really got to live and... Good recovery. Van's got to take care. Oh, there goes Dane! Alright, a 2v1. Van's still looking very young. And 304's going to put on his traditional I'm a roll distance away from you pressure. Mm -hmm. Don't you dare roll. Otherwise, Van just has to beat him. Yeah, I want that grab for the for the rest. It's bombs. Because at this them. point, if Greninja gets a grab, Jigglypuff's just gonna rest both of them. Because it'll kill. No, so it might kill them both, but who cares? Yet he's dead. So good patience to 304. He's making Yeti. Ooh! Back ooh, the bomb! This is dangerous. I'm actually really scared for 304. Yeah. He's gotta stay alive. Or All not! Right. Good stuff to Van. Van makes it happen. All right, two to one. And again, singles have started. That's what we're looking yep. at back there. But got some crowds forming. I think Spook Fair. I don't know what they're if they need to do anything differently or just avoid the rests. Learn when they're rest bait and be super vigilant of Jigglypuff. Yep. Yeah, it's tough. I wonder if they want to bring back some platforms. I would imagine so. If not only, if for nothing else, because they counterpicked FD, mm -hmm. you know that they're comfortable with this big flat. I stage. think Town and City would probably be a good pick because it's, uh, you know, they still get the flat uh, times. 
Mm -hmm. But it's a little more cramped, so there's less space for Water Balloon to run around. Could be. I mean, hovering over it. And obviously we've seen the up air coming out so oh, much. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. For sure. So we'll see how this goes. I know I can I can feel that 304 starting to feel himself. He's uh he's uh, getting rest happy and come on as if 304 isn't always feeling himself. <laughs> you can't talk about what he does at night. <laughs> Calm down, Jack. And Dane's been eating quite a bit of percent, but mostly an even game so far. Yep, there <gasps> it is. And that's gonna be the difference maker for Water Balloon is. 304 recognizing those percents and capitalizing because it's not much to hit a soft hit fair. It's not a commitment at all to Jigglypuff. Oh. He almost got it again, but that will kill Jigglypuff. Yeah. And Dane was at too low of a percent for him to go for that. Mm -hmm. I, I know 304 gets especially excited for it on Town and City. Because it kills 5% yep. earlier. Mm -hmm. But now it's an even game. Which is like more than 10% <laughs> of, uh, you know, the total. Right. And now I'm pretty sure Dane. Oh, that hurts. That hurts so much. I think what happened is the first hit of jab hit Greninja off, and then he probably hit Nair. And for some reason, you can't do anything after Nair. Um, so Red Team's now got a, a hill to climb, and against Toon Links, that's never fun. They will just wall you out. Not yet. Drop zero. Oh, that's right. Van has his water box shenanigans, not killing off the top yet, but... But we've seen it work on players before. Yeah, got it on Cookie Chicken with Arcadian. And dash attack, not quite going to steal Dan's sock, but both both Toon Link's looking real, this might real be skeptical. That being said, Jigglypuff's also at kill percent. And if Jigglypuff loses her stock... Wait, no, the stock's not even. Yeti's got three, okay. Yep. There it is, and the up throw doesn't kill. And being down and two now stocks failed. hurts. That's trouble. That up should kill okay, though. Up air takes Dane's second stock. Yeti tanking. Oh, good tech. And good if recognition by 304 that he could go and Ooh, try and for that Dane stage killing play. Yeti with that back air. Now it's even stocks. Yeah. And this is actually this is the preferred percents for Jigglypuff. She doesn't want you to get to 100. She wants you to be at like. Four, or 50, 60 areas, so she can land those fair to rest. So, like specifically Yeti right now, it's got to be looking out for that late hit fair to rest. Definitely, they're they're both right there. This is really scary to be at that short hop height against Jiggly Puff. It's terrifying. And then, once again, Red Team's in a situation where they really need to take both of their opponent's stocks before one of before both of them lose their stocks. Yeah. Yeah, shared stock situation would be really bad for Water Balloon. Alright. All right. So Green team ahead by two Dude, stocks. Too light. The back Van is it at 109. Gonna have to take three Toon Link stocks, which means he's gotta get Toon Link into rage percent three times and not die. Good luck. Doing a great job of dodging projectiles right now. Both characters are kill percent. One one good smash attack read on Dane or that. Okay. Dane does take the share stock. I actually thought he was going to leave Yeti for two stocks. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, this being said, now if they get a grab, it's game over for, for Van, essentially. Yep. And Van's so many getting high right? on percent, but if he can take Yeti's stock in the near future, it's still very much so doable. Ooh, back throw is going to start killing pretty pretty soon at the left. Mm -hmm. like He's got to be very careful. I, I think Van's trying to play his own singles game a little bit too much. He's not playing the 2v1. He's playing as if he were playing uh -oh. both individually. I don't yep. know what that up he was. I'm certain it was a missed input, but I don't know what it was supposed to be. Might have wanted a shadow sneak or something. Right. Good effort from uh, Bloodbag. Mm -hmm. But uh, Bombfair into top four, I think. Yep. Fairly expected result there. And now it's going to be fair and balanced versus... I don't remember who. 